Welcome back to my garage. Today will be the first test fire of my 50cc resonance engine with a supercharger. I've got high hopes for this one. I want to congratulate and say a huge thank you to Steve Williams. Thank you, Steve Williams. He won the auction for the first piece in the series of offerings to the God of Speed art piece things. Congratulations, Steve Williams, and thank you. Thank you for the support. I hear them crying now, the hungry in the desert where they're wandering. Hear them crying now for heaven's own benevolence upon them. Hear destructive power prevailing. I hear fools falsely hailing to the crooked with some tyrants when they call. I hear them all, I hear them all, I hear them all. I hear the sound of tearing pages and the roar of burning paper. All the vines in acquisition, the spear and ashes wafer, and the rattle of the chapter, far beyond emancipating, and the loneliest to gather in their stalls. I hear them all, I hear them all, I hear them all. After putting in the extensions, I need longer bolts, and I haven't got any. So I need to go into town and find some and I'm hoping the belt will arrive today it was supposed to arrive yesterday But didn't in the meantime we can do like a dry fit up and uh, see how the chain fits I have a suspicion. I need to make more clearance for the chain now I probably cut clearance in here when I put the brute force engine on the frame So this will work fine. I just have to move the whole thing much further forward I just received a call and my belt will not be here until probably tomorrow, which is a bummer. There's other stuff to work on in the, mean, in the meantime though. First step is moving the whole cradle forward to take up the slack in the chain. They're not the easiest to get to the bolts under here. This would be much easier without the engine there, but then there wouldn't be a front sprocket to tension the chain against. won't tighten this up yet, I will have to remove the chain and uh, replace those bolts that are too short. And that means I'll have to take the engine out and I need slack in the chain. We can check clearance for the exhaust and see where we can mount the load cell. Plenty of clearance for the exhaust, perfect. It would be nice having just one exhaust outlet to worry about. I'll relocate the fuel stand and wiring and stuff later to clean things up back here. This is going to be the mount for the load sensor. I'm gonna pick up on that bolt, cut clearance here to make it fit, and then this hole will line up with this bolt, and I'll drill another one around here to secure it properly. This is the plate from the brute force engine, so there's already a mounting point for the load cell on it. So while you sit there whistling Dixie, with your money and your power, I can hear the stars blowing in the rubble of the tower. I hear little squitter lying, I hear baby squitter crying, I hear soldiers squitter dying one and all. I hear them all, I hear them all, I hear them all. I hear them all, I hear them all, I hear them all. Went the whole day yesterday without coffee. It was bad. I picked up the bolts I needed. Still waiting for that belt. Should arrive later today. Need that belt to decide where my tensioner is going to sit. And I need to put that tensioner on before I assemble everything. I think it's time to clean up the place again. I'm not reattaching the exhaust extraction tubes until everything else is in place. It's always in the way for filming. You might notice these three Allen wrenches are missing. They're placed in strategic locations around the shop. That's good enough. Can't overdo it. My exhaust pipe has this stuck on there. This nozzle in the end of it 
instead of a stinger there's a nozzle and I can replace it with smaller or larger nozzles. Let's see how long this holds. It's now Monday. The belt was supposed to arrive, I think it was Wednesday last week. Let's hope it arrives today. Until that, I'm gonna make a new chain tensioner. I'll make it long enough to accommodate a big span in the belt length. Because I'm not sure how the belt will sit yet. I know this one, which is, uh, I think this one is 600. And it's a tad bit too short. And the new one is 640. Which might be, like it might be sagging a lot, or it might be tight. I'm not sure. Belt tensioner, and I've got some new cables for the throttle setup. They're too short now. These four flute tools, they work really well with flood coolant, but uh, even with my manual makeshift flood cooling, they clog up like this. They're really not meant for aluminium, but they work so well with, uh, with flood coolant. They're cheap AliExpress carbide tools, but uh, they can take a beating though. Now with the load cell mounted, we can see how the engine will sit in the cradle and there's room for the pipe. That's important, that the pipe doesn't rub on the chain. Now we gotta fix a problem of two short throttle cables. And there's two of them because I'm running push-pull because of the blower and this is a slide carb. The blower sucks on the slide and keeps it from closing, that's why I'm running push-pull. I need to replace these cables with longer ones. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> 
Ja, Alex. Hallå, är det kommit regn? Härligt. Härligt, tack så mycket. Kommer jag snart? Ja, hej. Boat has arrived. Yes. We'll use this one for now, and if that's not enough, we'll need to find stiffer springs. Finally, the belt showed up. Now let's see if it fits. We'll need to add some timing marks. I've set the ignition trigger to where I think it's in the right position, but I probably have to find adjust it in software. Making a punch mark in the trigger wheel and a corresponding punch mark in the in the case. When they line up, I know we're at top dead center. Then I'll make additional punch marks for 5, 10, 15, 20 degrees. That'll make it easy for me to check with the light if the ignition is triggering at say 10 degrees. And then I'll just set the baseline to 10 degrees. So that it sits like that, and then we'll angle it in the right orientation. Let's see here, first a slight bend, let's see if I can do that by... <sighs> I'd call that a bit more than a slight bend. You know what I'm gonna say now, don't you? It's the day after, the water is heating up. We'll soon be ready for the first test start. Crossing fingers. <laughs> I'm up to almost 29 degrees Celsius now. I'm gonna bring it up to like 35, 40 before we start testing. Be on the safe side. I'm turning on the exhaust extraction now and I'll attempt starting it with the drill. If you're new here, you might be wondering why I'm wearing this mask and stuff. The shield is in case the engine explodes. The mask is because I'm running methanol and nitromethane and the fumes aren't too pleasant to breathe. I'm gonna attempt starting it with the drill now so you won't see the engine because I'm in the way of the camera. Soon as it starts, I'll move away and you'll have full visuals of the glory or disaster. As it's upside down, it might be flooded. I'll pull the plug, just in case. Dump out any excessive mixture. As you can see. <laughs> Install a quick release spark plug. The danger here is hydrolocking the engine before it starts. How many times have you pulled the spark plug in a short while record? Start cracking it a tiny bit more. It's very likely we have a flooding issue. This is the 35 mm alcohol converted Tilsen we initially ran in the brute force engine and that worked. It seemed like it was running out of fuel though. I think it's worth a shot to try this carb on this engine and uh, at least see if it starts or works better. Could be ignition timing is way off but it is definitely flooding so let's try to sort that first. I've got the pulse port open to the intake now. 
I don't think it matters much here. On this side there's always negative pressure, on that side there's always positive pressure. And it is gravity fed. I'll just cap off that nipple for now. But of course it would been much easier before mounting the carb. Take two, pumper carb. This is proving more difficult than I thought. But then again, this is the first time in a long while I've had trouble with starting one of my builds. It was bound to happen. But now it's the opposite that's going on. It's not getting fuel. It's not getting fuel. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. I was really hoping that engine would start. It will though, and this means we've got a lot of troubleshooting to do in the next video. Still a bummer. I even prepared a song. Let's play that song regardless. See you next time. Ja, vi bara din, Margareta, bara bara din. Ska du veta, står jag vid din dö, kär som aldrig för. Vågar inte ringa, pulsarna de bränner så heta. Känner du som jag, Margareta, blickarna du gav, gav du dem som svar, eller ej? Jag vill vara din, Margareta, bara bara din. Ska du veta, blickarna du gav, gav du dem som svar, eller ej? Tack, tack tjejer.